Hello everyone. Today we are going to several farming regions in the United States to see how farmers here harvest their crops with modern farming machines. First, we will go to a pistachio farm in California to see how billions of pistachios are harvested. This harvester will be used to clamp firmly down to the base of the tree and then shake it vigorously so that all the pistachios fall into the trays below. About 59,000 tonnes of pistachios are produced in the United States each year and 99% of them come from California. Next, we will continue to another field in the state of California to see giant agricultural machines harvesting hundreds of tons of tomatoes. This harvesting machine will pull the entire tomato plant from the ground before separating the fruit and stem. Billions of tomatoes will be transferred to trucks to be taken to the processing plant and the rest of the stems will be crushed. These are pictures of an apple farm in the state of Florida. Here, hundreds of tons of apples will be harvested and shipped to apple cider vinegar and apple juice factories. Instead of being carefully harvested like the apples in Washington state, the apples here are machine harvested and many of them are bruised before being shipped to the factory. This is the process of harvesting cranberries in Massachusetts. First, billions of cranberries will be brought to the surface. Next, pumps will be used to transfer them onto trucks before being taken to the juice factory. We are currently in a rice field in Louisiana. The rice harvest season here usually takes place in late November and December. According to statistics in 2021, rice production in the United States reached nearly 230 million tons, of which 43% is produced in Louisiana. Not only is it the state with the largest rice production in the United States, the state of Louisiana is also home to vast sugarcane fields. About 500,000 acres of land here is used to grow sugarcane and the annual sugarcane output is about 15 million tons. 
After harvesting, billions of cane plants will be transported to the factory to produce sugar. Next, we will go to the vast cornfields of Iowa to see how thousands of tons of corn kernels here are harvested. All corn kernels will be separated and then transferred to trucks. The corn stalks will be chopped and spread in the field to regenerate the arable land. Thousands of tons of corn after harvest will be dried and preserved to make animal feed. This is the process of harvesting organic lettuce in a field in the state of Arizona. In Arizona, about 75,000 acres are used to grow lettuce. Every time the harvest comes, about 3,000 to 4,000 workers are hired from Mexico to work here. Right now, we're in a sugar beet field in eastern Idaho. Idaho is the second largest producer of sugar beet in the United States, second only to Minnesota. The sugar beet growing area here is up to 185 acres and the annual yield is about 3.4 million tons. Hello my friends, today we are going to a few cranberry farms in the United States to see how the cultivation and harvesting of billions of cranberries happens. Cranberries are a shrub mainly grown in swampy areas. Currently Wisconsin, Massachusetts and New Jersey are the states with the largest cranberry growing areas in the country. According to statistics, up to 81% of cranberries in the United States are used to make fruit juices and sauces. Mid-April through June is when cranberry planting takes place in most of Wisconsin's wetlands. First, hundreds of tons of sand will be spread evenly over the field surface. Currently, about 21,000 acres of land in Wisconsin is used to grow cranberries. The sandy and peat bogs of central and northern Wisconsin are perfect growing conditions for cranberries. After the sand is spread to the field, the cranberry bushes will be brought here to start a new life. These cranberry bushes look quite similar to haystacks used as fodder. These workers will spread cranberry bushes evenly over the surface of the field. Every year, about 4,300 workers are hired to cranberry farms in the United States to cultivate. Next, this machine will be used to make part of the cranberry stem sink into the ground. From there, the roots will grow. The time from planting cranberries to harvesting the first crop usually lasts about three years. As a shrub grown in swamps, cranberries are also very susceptible to pests and fungi. Therefore, 
certain types of probiotics are also used to protect cranberries. In addition, weed growth is also a problem that farmers here pay attention to. Early summer is usually the time to bloom on cranberry farms. At that time, millions of honeybees will be brought here to pollinate. The time from pollination to harvest of cranberries usually lasts about three months. The cranberry harvest season usually lasts from mid-September to the end of October, just in time for Thanksgiving. To prepare for the harvest, water is pumped into the cranberry swamps. Ripe cranberries can be soaked in water for up to two weeks before harvesting. This machine will be used to make billions of cranberries float to the surface. In 2021, cranberry production in the United States is 7.9 million barrels. Each barrel of cranberries weighs about 100 pounds. Everything is ready. Billions of cranberries will be loaded onto trucks and taken to processing plants. Currently, Wisconsin is the state with the largest cranberry production in the United States, with 4.9 million barrels, accounting for 62% of the national production. Only 5% of US cranberry production is sold fresh. Most of it is made into sauces, juices, dried fruit, and other foods. And here's another harvesting method at a cranberry farm in Massachusetts. This machine works like a combine harvester. Hello everyone, today we are going to the fields of sweet corn in Florida and Washington state of the United States. 
Here, we will see how the farmers here cultivate and harvest billions of sweet corn. In the United States, sweet corn seeding usually takes place in March and April each year. Currently, the United States is home to the largest sweet corn crop in the world, with about 268,000 acres and an annual harvest of 2.9 billion pounds. After the sowing process is over, these sweet corn fields will be supplied with water with this modern irrigation system. On average, each high yielding corn crop uses about 600,000 gallons of water per acre. Sweet corn is a fast growing plant. The time from sowing to harvest usually lasts around three months. There are even some sweet corn varieties that only need two months to be harvested. Some sources claim that sweet corn was cultivated by Native Americans more than 7,000 years ago in Central America. According to statistics released in 2021, each American uses about 4.7 pounds of sweet corn and the revenue from sweet corn production is about $774 million. Do you enjoy using sweet corn in your daily meals? After about three months, all the sweet corns here are ready for harvest. Millions of sweet corn will be picked and then sent to the factory for packaging. This is the process of harvesting sweet corn on large farms. Millions of corn will be picked by this modern farming machine. This is what goes on at a sweet corn packing plant. If you don't like to eat sweet corn the usual way, you can use canned sweet corn.
how do you feel about the process of cultivating and harvesting sweet corn in this video? Let us know what you think in the comments section of the video. Goodbye and see you in the next video.